hey guys hello everyone so let's take four marker questions now there were so many questions which you guys have requested i am going to take the most repetitive ones and the one which have been asked most frequent number of times don't worry we have taken a lot of questions in this part okay so let's start with it i'm going to start from this question which is highly asked 701070 and it was a question based upon the absorption spectrum of lanthanides 3 plus is normally sharp and weak in intensity however samirium plus 3 which is having electronic configuration of 4f5 in dilute acidic solution shows a broad and moderately intense transition at 495 nanometer the transition is the answer given in the answer key is 6h5 by 2 to 4g5 by 2 now uh, i don't know what answer you guys are expecting and many of you are asking for the reference of this See the correct answer is the, an the answer which is mentioned in the answer key. I'm going to show you the reference. Okay. So here is a research paper. There are many research papers because samarium is a very good photoluminescent uh, like material or a photoluminescent ion which shows the property of phot uh, like photoluminescence. Okay. So this is one of the paper uh, published in the journal of Wuhan University of Technology material science edition it is and uh, there are several different research papers you can find just search for uh, luminescent samarium plus 3 and you will get a lot of research papers uh, why i have taken this because many things have been explained very directly over here or mentioned very directly that's why i have taken it let me zoom this a little bit just see the abstract part of it uh, although this is not the samarium directly but it is doped with uh, strontium oxide aluminium oxide and silicon oxide glass ceramics but uh, if you see here it says that under the excitation of 475 nanometer blue light which is the wavelength for the blue light uh, which can be assigned to 4g 5 by 2 to 6 h j by 2 where j can be 5 7 9 or 11 that means it can be 6 h 5 by 2 or 6 h 7 by 2 or 6 h 9 by 2 or 6 h 11 by 2 it can be anything out of those the answer is like the only option which matches is the given option okay let us not get convinced here let's look upon a little bit more because this paper also shows the energy level diagram of samarium ions that's why i have taken this okay now if you see all these are fluorescence okay the one which shows the arrow down that are our emissions the only absorption which shows over here is the first arrow which is at 475 nanometer now the energy difference for that is basically from the ground state which is 6h5 by 2 to some energy state over here which is 4i39 by 2 or 4m15 by 2 or 4i11 by 2 or 13 by 2 okay so this is the energy state in which it is happening now what we have to see is we uh, have to look upon a wavelength that is 495 which is 20 nanometers greater than that and you know that energy and wavelength have a inverse relation so if i increase the wavelength energy should be decreased so now if i am exciting or if i want to see at 495 the energy gap should be smaller than this so the smaller energy gap than this could be one of these right so that means now the transition goes from 6 h 5 by 2 to 4 g 5 by 2 which is in the option one more possibility is 4 f 3 by 2 but that's not in the option so I have given you a, a reference also and according to that also answer should be option number 2 which is correct okay question yeah now this was the question which was a smart question and I knew when I saw this question in exam that many people are going to uh, get confused or make mistakes in this so let's see this question how to solve it it says that a particle of mass m is confined in a rectangular box uh, with lx is equals to 2ly uh, the state of energy is given to you has degeneracy of how much you know the concept of de degeneracy the energy should be same that's all the energy of a particle in rectangular box is given to you as h square upon 8m in the bracket you have nx square upon lx square plus ny square upon ly square okay now since we are given with a particular value i'm going to put it down and i'm going to solve this so the energy is going to be h square upon 8m nx square upon this will be 2ly square plus ny square upon ly square if you solve this you are going to get h square upon 8m 
and you will get nx square upon 4ly square plus ny square upon ly square right so upon solving it further the value of energy will be h square upon 8m uh, this is going to become nx square plus 4ny square and denominator will be 4ly square now this is the energy which i have got the given energy value is 10 h square upon 8 m l y square you just have to get the values of n x and n y so you can cancel out the rest of the things 8 m and 8 m will cancel out l y square and l y square will cancel out so only 10 is left out and 4 is left out this 4 will get multiplied here so you will get n x square plus 4 n y square is equals to 40 now this is the equation which you have to see the values of nx and ny whatever the values of nx and ny is set going to satisfy this equation that many uh, like combinations will be the degeneracy so in order to get 40 what you can do is you can put i'm just solving here you can put nx is equals to 6 and ny is equals to 1 if you do that you will get 6 square plus 4 into 1 square 6 square is 36 plus 4 into 1 is 4 which will give you 40 that's correct so this is one of the combination okay so the first combination which you got is nx is equals to 6 and ny is equals to 1 that's first combination the second combination which you can make is nx is equals to 2 and ny is equals to 3 okay now you have to play with it okay it's, there is no a uh, way of solving it or there is no straight formula to solve it you only have to put different values of nx and ny and try to get 40 you have to satisfy this equation see this nx is equals to 2 will give you 2 square plus 4 into 3 square so this becomes 4 plus 4 into 3 square is 9 right 9 into 4 will give you 36 so 4 plus 36 is going to make it 40 so that means one more combination which you have got is nx is equals to 2 and ny is equals to 3. This combination is also giving you 40. That's why these two are the possible combinations. And uh, since these two are possible combinations, so the degeneracy will be 2. So that's how you got 2 as the degeneracy. All right. So that's why this is correct. There could not be any other possibility that is going to satisfy this equation you can try it out okay the next question that we can take is uh, question number 701071 it says that a molecule shows two absorption at uh, 896 and 960 megahertz in its 13 c nmr spectrum in the magnetic field of three tesla the corresponding chemical shift in ppm are how many uh, you are given with 13 uh, c and uh, uh, magnetic uh, gyro magnetic ratio of this is given to you that is 6.72 into 10 to the power 7 radian per tesla per second and i value is half you technically don't have to do anything with i value basically first of all you have to calculate larmor frequency so for that you will be doing gamma b upon 2 pi okay so gamma is 6.72 into 10 to the power 7 into uh, b is given to you 3 tesla divided by 2 into 3.14 if you solve this you will get something around 32 okay 32 megahertz uh, that's what is going to be the larmor frequency and once you got your larmor frequency uh, chemical shift can be easily calculated chemical shift can be easily calculated this is uh, the given frequency divided by the machine frequency so the given frequency is in uh, 896 and divided by the machine frequency which is 32 and if you solve this you will be getting the answer as 28 now one thing which is incorrect over here is that uh, this should not be in megahertz okay because this ppm parts per million only comes when one of the unit is in megahertz and the other unit is in hertz okay so you get 10 to the power 6 basically and uh, that's where you have that parts per million concept okay so there is some mistake with the units in this question definitely if you want to challenge this question you can challenge this okay but you won't be having any uh, reference for that you can only show the equations and you can only tell that uh, the unit should have been in terms of um, 
megahertz in order to solve it okay or if i'm incorrect over here please do let me know in the comment section if i am doing some mistake because that is also possible that i can misinterpret something or something is happening uh, but the answers are coming option number d is the one which you are getting for 960 divided by 32 again you will get uh, somewhere close to 30 so your answers are correct uh, but the only thing is that units are not according to me okay there is some problem with the units i just hope that i'm correct over here okay although i have checked from my side but uh, the scope of human error is still there but yeah if you are convinced with it you can challenge this question according to the unit okay so this is something which you can look upon okay i'm not saying that you should challenge it uh, because you won't be having a reference but if you have uh, like if you have solved this question and if you have marked any other option of this uh, then you can try that okay remember that if the question will be incorrect everybody is not going to get the marks okay so make sure that don't challenge it in that uh, logic that if this question will be correct even if i have not attempted i will get marks of it that is very less likely to happen okay so if you have attempted any other option of this and then if you want then you can go for that otherwise i would recommend you leave this question okay but uh, because we don't have a proper reference for that and we won't be getting any reference for this okay we can only explain it in a written matter and that's what you can do or probably i'm 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 missing out something okay i'm not quite sure so yeah let's take the last question for this video this question also many people asked me 701064 it says that the compound shown below is a 48 electron metal cluster and they are not counting metal metal bonds the metal m is what okay remember that here nitrosyl is there okay no has two ways like it can bind in two ways one is in the form of linear and one is in the form of bent when it is in the form of bent it is one electron donor and when it is in the form of linear it is three electron donor uh, now if you see here uh, the nitrosyl over here is bridging there are three bridging nitrosyl these are mu2 nitrosyls and there is one nitrosyl which is a mu3 nitrosyl now in order to make three bonds or in order to bind with three metals a uh, species should have three electrons then only it can do that so although it is not mentioned what type of nitrosyl it is but this nitrosyl is linear of course then only it can make three bonds same goes for them okay if they are bent they would be only having one bond or they can only make one bond and in that case they can never form a bridging group okay so they are also linear this is also linear okay this is also linear so you have four linear nitrosyl you have cp6 uh, ligand over here and metal is the one and although the metal metal bonds need not to be can calculated so let's do that we have six electrons coming from three of the cp rings okay not cp but yeah they are benzene rings and plus we have uh, uh, like three electrons coming from uh, one two three four nitrosyl groups okay and plus we have uh, three metals and we don't know how many electrons are coming so let's make it x over here overall it is 48 electron species remember that we are not including metal metal bonds here let's count that down so it is 18 plus 12 plus 3x is equals to 48 this becomes 30 plus 3x is 48 if you subtract it so 3x becomes 18 48 minus 30 is 18 and x will be 6 so the only metal which has 6 electron in its valence shell is chromium right chromium has electronic configuration of 4s1 and 3d5 right so six electron its valence shell option d is correct so these were the questions which were highly like repetitive in many requests so i just thought to solve them as early as possible so that you get to know i'm still not uh, much convinced about this particular question i might be wrong with the calculation i might be wrong with the with the uh, with the units okay so please be careful and check it out double check it how to uh, how to you know put the like how to convert these radians per tesla into hertz and all that's all from my side for this particular video i hope to see you guys in the next one till then take care bye bye and see you in the next video take care bye bye